managed to escape with this one. What? But trust me now, I broke one head. He might not survive it. We have long-lasting relationship with the people of Isimba. Why fighting you over the fish you've got for the king? Igwe must know about this before it degenerates. Now let's go. Trust me now, one of them, eh? You might not survive it. I broke his head. My good friend of Menka. <laughs> yes. This is very delicious. <laughs> mm. Mm. So, Mana Patalana Co. Yes. Okajara <laughs> Kaja. Um, so, that is it from Menka. Tell the queen not to be worried at all. My daughter, Uruka, will come back from America next week. Okay. And the marriage rights between her and Prince Namde will start in earnest. Okay. Nothing whatsoever shall stop it. Okay. Because the king of Isimba single-handedly sponsored her to America. Mm. And he was paying for her education before death came calling. Oh, my good friend. May his soul continue to rest in the bosom of the Lord. Amen. Igwe, um, what you said is very reassuring. We are only waiting for her to come back so that we can crown Namdi the next king. The queen said the same thing. But the elders sent me to come and see you so as to reconfirm what the queen said. That is just why I'm here. All right, tell your people, the good people of Isimba, that the coronation and marriage ceremonies between Prince Namde and my daughter will commence in earnest. Nothing will make her not to return to what I was her at home. You know that my daughter and uh, Prince Nande love each other so much. Yes. <laughs> and they will make the youngest queen and king within the greater Osisioma Empire. Easy. <laughs> Igwe. In fact, you are the only Igwe that knows everything about his kingdom. <laughs> I know what you can say. The head of Osanga, the fisherman, must drop on the ground. Yes! yes. Ikena! Ikena is lying there in the hospital, bleeding! Osanga! Osanga head must go down! Yes! Let's go! Are you serious about this, Osanga? Yes, Your Highness. They fought me. In fact, they attacked me. They left with three of my fishes and even threatened to come back for me. Oh no! This cannot be condoned! Ekwedike. Yes, Your Highness. Run to Isimba. Inform the Queen and uh, Prince Nande of this development. Warn them to gag those errant youths. Also warn them of the consequences of their action should they dare proceed to this land for vengeance. Your Highness. Consider the message delivered. It's all right. Osanga, yes, please do not get worried at all. You do catch some good fishes. I enjoy eating all the time. 
and you are a perfect gentleman. And I assure you that no harm shall befall you on this land. I really appreciate your highness. Thank you, your highness. <laughs> Angry youths. I saw them singing oh, wow. for war and they were heading to Umweke. Huh. I was wondering what the problem could be. Oh, wow. I heard that a fisherman called Osanga from Umweke broke the head of Ikenna, the son of Okorienta. And it was said that Ikenna caught a big fish and Osanga stole it. <laughs> and, and when Ikenna caught him, he broke his head. Why are people so wicked? Like, people are very, very wicked. Anyway, I hope you came with the hair cream I asked you for. Ujo, I never knew it has finished. But don't worry, when we get to Equitor Saloon, we'll get another one. Hmm. I told you to come out with it. Didn't I? Do now. Let's be going. Please send my assurance to the king. Tell him that nothing will happen to any of his subjects. Not to talk of his favorite fisherman. I know how irrational our youth could get at, but please tell him to forgive. Hmm? Your Majesty, my queen, I want you to be rest assured that I, Ekwedike, the chief guard of Umeke Kingdom, will deliver your message in the manner you have just asked me to. Come to think of it. Why do we always fret when it comes to anything that has to do with Umaike people? Sometimes I get this notion that we are worshipping them too much. Simply because we want to get married to their daughter in America, who my late father took there. If uh, you want to shut up your mouth, will you shut up your mouth? Mother, leave her. She's just been selfish. You said selfish? Mm. Mother, you know I always say my mind. Let the youth fight for their right, Biko. Because of an ordinary fish, an idiot from Umweke broke the head of an Isimba boy. <laughs> Let there be war. Please, do not pay attention to whatever thing she is saying. Just tell the king that I told you. Hmm? All right, my queen. I will do as you have just said. <sighs> See where you are fooling yourself in the midst of a stranger. Did you just talk to me? In that manner? No, no, no. Are you stupid or something? Mom, I'm going to break you my head.
Osanga the fisher boy. Osanga, if you are home, please come out. It is me, the prince of the Simba kingdom. I have a message for you. My prince. Ah. Greetings, you're welcome. <laughs> Osanga, please sit. I can in my bars. Thank you. Um, I have come to make sure that you are all right. I have stopped the youth from coming to attack you. I have also made sure that they returned the three fishes they snatched from you. I have come to give you some money for your lost fishes. Any soul from Umweke means a lot to me. My lovely princess will soon arrive, and our marriage and coronation follows. You see, my land and this land of my will be in laws must be at peace, devoid of any rancor. My prince. You are a good man with a golden heart and you are a very good king. I am humbled by your visit. Thank you so much. Henceforth, you can go about your normal duties. You can go on with your life. I have also made sure that my people will never drain on the waters of home again. Never again. So that you can fish and sell and even bring more to my in-laws, the king. My prince, I, I'm short of words. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate this. I promise to be loyal to you. I promise to attend all your ceremonies. <laughs> Thanks for standing by the truth. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I think I have to take my leave now. And do what? I rest now. Okay, would you don't worry next time you do your hair? Uh -huh. Would you? I heard that Prince Nnam they intervene and stop the war. If not, by now, this our village would have been on fire. He has to, because he wants a smooth marriage and coronation ceremony. But I see that as weakness. 
Umweke people will be looking at us as weaklings. How can someone do this to one of us and go scot-free? And to even add to it, he broke his head. If you ask me, I don't know who I will ask. Please, I don't know. Let's be going on before they will say we said something else. Oh, my God. For Johnny Messis. And you're watching your beard. Oh, you are looking very beautiful and chic. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Yes. I miss you. Oh, I missed you too. <laughs> I should go before her, dancing, because she came back from America. Huh? Why are you like this? Huh? Like how? Please, oh, I am cool as I am. Send my regards to your American wife. I have a cool sleep to catch. God have mercy on you. <laughs> hmm. Save that prayer, because very soon, you'll be needing it. is back. The one from the land of the white people. Let me go fish. I must welcome her with a good catch. At least that's all I can afford. So finally here we are. After all the years. <laughs> I'm happy to be with you also. <laughs> Asawa. Uru kanawa. No, no, no. I have found told that name in America. You can call me Rekka. Rekka baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I find that uh, Uruka, Uruka, whatever, so odd. All right, all right. Rekka. Baby, right? Yes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, 
I'm tired of things like wine, snacks, fast food and all that. I want local delicacy, local foods, local entertainment, all the things I've missed in America. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, 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 no. I do not patronize such local joints. If you are bored, we can go to a fast food and then to the club. What do you say? Here you are making me offer of things I'm tired of already. But hey, you're the man. Let's go. I like that. <laughs> Just take me to where I'll continue eating garbage. <laughs> I wonder the kind of sister your brother would think of you. You've never given him any support of any kind. Don't worry. You'll soon become the king. Let me see how you will expect him to help you. <laughs> Mom, I don't care. And you know it. Whenever I want. I will go and join the Rasta community and grow my dread. And what did you just say? <laughs> I shouldn't have told you this, but hey, I just did, and you know it already. I think you need deliverance. Deliverance? Deliverance from those who want me to do whatever they want? Deliverance from Babylonians and onto Zion. Shimo, I'm I'm This is just the beginning. I am just beginning. I hate that girl, Uruka. Since my father left me and sent her to America instead, here will be hell. My princess, this is a special gift for you. Yes. Do you prefer barbecue or should I make it catfish pepper soup with local ingredients? Uh, osanga, right? Yes, osanga. Mwamba <laughs> mwunyuko. Anyway you think is good for me, just get it ready. I want it local and delicious. All right then. In that case, I won't be needing the services of the palace cook. I will do justice to it myself. My princess, even the king can never do without his fish. In fact, he is number one. Wow, I can't wait. <laughs> oh, good to be home. Oh, I've so missed. My prince, how did it go? <laughs> Very well, mother. We went to some of the beautiful places in town. Uh, though she said she desires some local food and the leakers. But I told her I do not patronize such places. No, never. Those kind of places are for low class people. Not for a prince like you and a princess like her that returned from America. People cannot be sane with local, smelly people in such places. Rather, a plum and brush environment. <sighs> Mother, I told her same. And after some minor arguments, she succumbed. In that case, 
We shall host her tomorrow. Call her on the phone. After that, the arrangement for the royal wedding starts immediately. Hmm. Sounds nice. Thank you, Mom. Uh, where is Evie? <sighs> That's one. Forget about her. Of all my three daughters, she is the most radical. Leave her and concentrate on our planning. She cannot be found anywhere at this moment. It's all right, Mom. Um, what about what we discussed earlier? Oh, that. Follow me. Let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> Best mom! in here. You just returned from America the other day. And we expect you to dine like the white people. But I won't understand. This fish is delicious. I almost beat my finger. I gave it to Sanga. He's a lord in making delicious fish. Oh, Father, I've missed a lot in America. I know. He's also catching and making some for me. But at least you should comport yourself. Hmm? At least you should go to the living room where people will not see you. Father, I can't control it. I can't control myself. This thing is mm, awesome. FYDK. 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 Yes, my princess, you see for me. Hurry to Sangha's house and fetch him for me. Run. Oh. Oh, Father, I need to give him a gift for making this delicious fish for me. Ah, oh, this is... This is awesome. This is lovely. Good to be home. All is well. Princess Suruka wants to see you. And you have to come now. What for? I hope all is well. Is the fish not good enough? <laughs> she has finished the fish and licked the plate. She says she has some gifts to give to you. She really loved what you have prepared for her. Hey, yeah. I will send some of the boys to entertain her. You did? Yes. And you know she just returned from America. And the Igwe might. No, no, no. It's just my only two way of entertaining and welcoming her. Besides, she told me that she's tired of all those American songs. Uh -huh. Well, if that is the case. Let's go now. Oh, 
Saka ifoni li wakachama Apo mungwa fo Ama miye mnacho Rapo no mo Kangwa li bendo mo Apo mungwa fo Ana macho biuta Clothes and shoes in this bag were originally meant for my husband to be, but I wanted to have them. My princess, I appreciate this, but I am... Not a word. You can go. Thank you very much, my princess. You're welcome. You need the guy to help you carry it. No, I'm fine. I am chora kam ne me i obi mu chora kam na cho abo madi bo amami i am ne me. Guard. My princess. Tell the cook to prepare fresh juice for me. That's my um, That is it, Omenka. You see, we are looking at Saturday, which is the next Eke day. Yes. Once we agree on the same date, message will be communicated to the king of Omweke. Yes, a marriage rite commence immediately. <laughs> that one is good. In fact, that one sinks down well with me. Really? Yes. <laughs> all right, all right. If I leave here now, I am going to communicate to other elders. I'm going to tell them what you have just said. Good. Yes. <laughs> we are ready for the marriage and for the uh, coronation. Even if you want it now, we are ready. <laughs> I am glad to hear that. Yes. Thank you so much. Let me go and tell them. Okay. <laughs> I will see you. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Max. What's up? Yes, everything's all right. Uh, I would like you to... Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mark, Mark! I love the sound of that. Okay. Okay. These clothes were not bought in my name. I was not part of the plan from the beginning. I must return them to her. Maybe she was carried away by the test of the fish 
and the sweet of any music. I am happy that you like this your private sitting room. I especially prepared it to suit your test. Oh, yes, Father. I like it. Thank you very much, Father. Though I don't have any problem with your simple sitting room and your simple throne. You know I'm a very simple person. Yes. Uh, but all the same, I appreciate. Thank you. Uh, finally, Uru Kanawa. You are welcome back to your area home. Daddy, Daddy, I told you it's Rekka. Give Rekha. me some love, Daddy. It's Rekka, Rekka baby. <laughs> Rekka baby. Yes. <laughs> I'll find tuned it in America. No more oh, Kana. No, just Rekka. <laughs> in fact, if you know the true meaning of your name, you will know that there's no greater name than the one you bear. And there's no other way to call it except the way it is. I spent 19 good years with your mother before you were born. People said that a female child is as good as nothing. But I said that you are everything I have. And I decided to give you the name Uru Kanama, which means there's great gain in a child. And of all the things I have, you are the most precious. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. I treasure you too. Though sometimes I wish mother didn't die of that strange illness that took oh. her untimely. In fact, the pain of your mother's loss made me decide not to ever remarry. And I decided to give you the best in life, including the agreement I had with my best friend to train you in America so that you marry his son. And once that is done, my community will be disposed to elect a new Igwe when I am no more. Please grant that I say that by putting up the best accepted behavior. Daddy, nothing has changed about me. But you have to allow me to do the things that gives me joy. Well, as far as it is within the accepted standard of a princess. Worry less, Daddy. I know what I'm doing. I'm good. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> uh -huh. Once again, thank you for my beautiful parlor. Yeah. Anyway, my sister Uamaka is helping in the cooking. I know. Why your sister Ife Uwa is nowhere to be found. As usual. Yeah. It is not a strength then. Anyway, go and bring her. By the time you're back, everything will be ready. Hmm? All right, Mom. I'll be back. Yeah. Ah, easy, son. <laughs> Are we? Wants that marriage to hold. I am supposed to be in America now. If not for that Uruka. 
My father sent her to America first because he wanted her to get married to my brother. And when it was my turn to go to America, my father died. So, her father did nothing for me. They are very wicked. And I want everything disrupted. Mm. My princess, you have said it. <laughs> uh, you, not my person, Ibi. You, not my person, Ibi. Relax. That fisherman of Omeke Kingdom. He still has cause to settle with me. Now the ball is in my court to play. Relax. Let me get hold of him. I will crush him. I will destroy him. I will scatter him. I will make sure that I lay him down. Then he will know why I am the leader of the youth in this kingdom. That is what I want. That is good, do so. But I don't want to be linked in anything. When you perfect your plans, consult me. Let me know if it is perfect. All right, I've heard you. See you later. I'll see you later. <laughs> Osanga, this is payback time. Payback time. Why did you return the bag without taking anything from it? I'm sorry about that, my princess. I was not comfortable with it. You can take it to who it was intended for. I'm contented with what I have. You know, there is always something refreshing about you. You have a very good heart. Thank you, my princess. But I'm still very angry with you for throwing away my others and making it look as if I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry, my princess. No ill was intended. Very well then. But you have to make it up to me by allowing me go fishing with you. Yes, I want to experience those things that makes you the best before confining myself to the status of a queen and all that comes with it. My princess, your father will kill me if he finds out that we went fishing. Remember the king of Isimba spent quite a fortune training me abroad for your future husband. You can't abandon all that and start fishing. Listen, Osanga, before America, I was here. Born here, born local. Even my name I wanted to change to Rekka Baby was disposed. My father calls me Urukanangwa. So you see, I am pure native. <laughs> so, let's go. Search for my daughter wherever she is and bring her home quickly. The Queen of Isimba and that royal family is waiting for her. Where could she have gone on a day like this? Your Highness, maybe she went strolling. You know how much she desires having the feel of the hinterland? Search for her everywhere and bring her home quickly. Yes, my Highness. I thought that if she returns from America, she will no longer eat those local foods. It doesn't surprise that she started doing all those things she never even did before she left. I thought so too. Maybe it's just the euphoria of coming back and things she has missed. Let's give it time. I know it will die down. Your Highness, I was hoping to see a classy and 
well organized Uruka that we walk on red carpets taking only wines and fast food like a princess that she is ordering for maids and other aides to be with her on arrival i just saw the opposite i made arrangements for local maids for her thinking that she will make good use of them but i am surprised that she started doing everything herself Definitely, this won't last. Uh, because I know she would definitely go the way of a polished queen when we finally get married. I am positive about it. It's alright. Yeah, come. We take one look. Tell me, did you by any means see the princess? Yes, I saw her earlier with Osanga catching fish. What? Are you sure of what you have just told me now? I saw them, I swear, Kwediki. <laughs> I think there is a problem. But I thought it was the king that sanctioned the movement and was wondering why. But. The Sanga normally catch good fishes for the king. Or could there be something wrong? Let me follow the shorter path. Osanga must know first. Ewo onya wazina mo abu mwa fa okwa nuna mo murumo. Let's go have lunch. Mother, why are you looking so worried? Why are you looking so worked up? What is it? Your brother went to Umweke to fetch his fiancée. We have cooked. And we've been waiting. No one knew where she went to. Is that why you're being so worried? Is that why you're being so worked up? What do you expect from someone who my late father wasted all the money that should have been used on me to train? Maybe. She might have gone to see her American boyfriend at the city hotel. If you can you ever be rational? When will you start seeing things from the positive side? Huh? Mother, I just told you the truth. Take it, or you wait for the punch. Excuse me. What is your daughter? Mother, you're supposed to know her by now. <sighs> Mother, I'm so very sure that the prince will definitely come back with his princess. I'm so very sure of that. Hmm? It's okay, it's okay. Okay, Mother. Let's go in and have lunch. Hmm? Let's go.
She's not picking her calls. It rings and rings out. And the critical says she is not at the river. Someone told him that she went away with her sangha. Honestly, I'm getting fed up with the whole matter. What could she be doing with her sangha at the river in the first place? Only God knows. I think I gave her sangha much rooms, and he's beginning to abuse it. My second worry is my mother. She invited her sister and almost all her friends. They are all waiting in the house to host her to a feast. I, I, I don't get it. And now this. There's <laughs> any just hold me and kiss me. Hey! Kiss, kiss, kiss. At this juncture, I'm going. I will not be told that I'm here when you go come and lock up everybody that's witnessed this thing. Am I here? Come on, I'm going. Asanga, the Igwe is guards are everywhere looking for the princess. They are in the killer mood though. Mm. Take her home quickly. People are running to the palace, telling the king that you have charmed her and rodden her with alcohol. Please, please, please. please. Stop, 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 my princess, stop. Stop, stop. Please, please. My princess, stop. Please, please. Hey! My princess, stop! My princess! My princess, stop! So finally, she did not return. She returned from a local bar drunk. News has it that she danced and drank cheap wine at the local bar. This is too bad. Our dreams of a plush wine trained in America. All our hopes and dreams. 
Mother, I am devastated. I had to hold the king before he was able to control his anger. The worst is the village fisherman that, that encouraged her. It's okay. My friends and sisters, they got tired and left. All the food, drinks, wasted. I pray this does not continue. Honestly, I pray. You have robbed more than my face. You have done things even villagers cannot do. Go inside your room now and sleep, and I will never allow you out of this palace again. Father, I had fun. Oh, I love being around Usanga. Father, he is full of fun. <laughs> I had plenty boring time studying abroad. And the Namdi gives me same boring moment. Father, I'm a native girl. Allow me to enjoy myself and have fun. Fun and fun. Epedike, take her to her room immediately. And after that, proceed to Osanga's house and drag him down here immediately. Don't kiss me. Don't kiss me. Please, my princess, stop this. Get up. The king wants to see you. Now. What for? I hope all is well. You need to come with me immediately. I'm oh. in the woods now. Come, let me lock my door. What happened? Are you serious? She's not behaving normal at all. The rumor that he uses sham to turn her head is true. If not, what would the princess be doing with a fisherman? Someone who just came back from Obdo Ibu in Ilukaba. See, I was singing for them as she's dancing. At the time, but at the time, I said, no, this is not ordinary. But Osanga is not known to be. Look, all the fishermen use sham. Just like with the musicians. Without sham, your enemy will just finish you before your time. And we do meet some of them safe in, at the hut of, hut of Libya. What are you saying? Chai. My dear, I have to go now. Uh, can I show you? Can I move the room? Can you go? Let this be the first and last time you will be seen with her anywhere in or outside this land. If you ever dare do so, I will show you my powers as a king. Now get out of my face and do not ever come near this home again. Now get out! He said you should leave. I said get out and get lost. Nonsense! Gas! Your Highness, make sure my order is obeyed to the letter. Yes, Your Highness. Ah, oh. He am Chorakam, me, he obi mu Chorakam, na Chor. I don't like that idea. You know what? I think I can work with that fisherman in Omoike. Osanga? Yes. But 
If that fails, then I shall use the master killer. So far, so good. I am happy the way things are falling apart. My princess, what you wish is what I will do. It's okay. I shall see you later. I'll take care of yourself. Be careful. He has taken the measures he talked about. Okay. So please, Mom. We shall prepare to host her again tomorrow. Very good, my son. But she must be here before I prepare anything. Really good. Prepare anything. All right, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, mm -hmm. let me retire to my room now. It's okay. Okay, yeah. good night, brother. Mommy. Madam, I won't. I have said this before and I'm saying it again. I will not. <laughs> This is the princess of Isimba, making an offer to you. So because you are a princess, I should do evil. Is that what you're saying? Because you are a princess, listen, you cannot intimidate me with your status. Read my lips. I will not, mame, madam, I will not. Really? Yes. <laughs> no problem. But I give you from now till tomorrow for you to get back to me. And if you fail to do so, or try to do anything silly, then watch the tide turn against you. Pa, will, will you zoos away from here? Zoos away from here, my friend. You are the princess and so. You expect me to do evil because you are the princess. I hate repeating myself. I will not and cannot do it. Simple. Hmm. You will see where you Listen, I am not afraid of you. I am not afraid of you. My father did not give birth to a coward. I fear nothing. Absolutely nothing. I will not and cannot. You can't come here uh, because you are a princess. You think you can intimidate me. I won't. Rubbish. Princess, my foot. I'm telling you, evil princess. So I give up your princess. Mame! My prince, she is yet to come out. The father is with her, pacifying her after raising his voice against her yesterday. I understand. Well, you can relax in the parlor. He will bring her out very soon. All right. Action must be taken assiduously. The guy is yet to show up. And he must not be allowed to expose me. My princess, as far as I'm concerned, that will never happen. Go and sleep. Get out. Eyes are already on him wherever he goes. But I'm still the youth leader of his Simba kingdom. I'll make sure that I deal with him. <laughs> Good one. Um, take this ha! and shine your eyes. Uh, Adadi Olamma one of his Simba kingdom. Mm -hmm. Adam Makalisli one 
of Simba Kingdom. Oh. Ada daddy ye je mono one of Simba Kingdom. Oh. The one that said that me and my boys will relax and have this for drink. Ada ima kali se kwa agi na chigi. Ada listen up. About the issue. Go and sleep. Oh. Relax. Lalo bola. Aku fungu kema na wale fa. Aye be ya kere kere. Be buonya. As long as you are the one that says we should go for this, Ada Jela Lobola, Ada do our landman kisses of his Simba Kingdom. You are the only one. Any other one? No. Can't have it. Yeah. Ada Jebezi no one left for me. Ada Jebezi no one left for me. I see Princess Ify going in and coming out of weird places baffles me. My sister, I think she's up to something ill. Something? Of course. And her character differs from her brothers. <laughs> anyway, legs that is moving anyhow is being seen by sharp vigilant eyes. Of course. So bad. One thing, Katangona, okay, my dear niece. My dear, I need to go home and do something for my mom. So you want to leave me at home? Let me go and do something for you. Come and stay with me now. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> I need to pass an important message. Please, it's very, very important. I need to see the king. There is another restraining you from stepping into this palace. And if you don't live here now, you will have yourself to be blamed. Fine and good, but this is a matter of life and death. I need to see the king. Please, go and die. I have it, man. Go! Go and die. Go back. If anything happens to the king, I think go back! Go! It's about life and I need to see the king. Go! Go back. Go back. I will hold you responsible. Go on, Dad. I did not do any of the things I was accused of. I'm just a local girl having fun. Did I steal or dance naked in the market? What is this whole about, about drinking in a local bar? Dancing to a sweet tone, or even experiencing nature by following Osanga to fish. What is the noise all about? Please, lower your voice. We are not fighting. You started it. Listen, Nandi, I have right or choice to what kind of person I want to be. If I wanted to be a posh queen, I would have remained in America. I came down here because I'm a native girl and I love life around here. Now you want me to leave as if I don't even go to the toilet. No, please. I am sorry. But it's just that I... Please. Please. Let's end this. I cannot see your mother in the mood I'm in. Let's get it for another day when I'll be in the right frame of mind. Alright. As you wish. You went to report me to the king. 
Now see where you have ended. Here shall you remain under chains until I finish my mission. And then I shall sell you off to the men at the Cameron border. People who do evil die by it. I'd rather die than be a part of an evil. I can see you are not ready to change. Here shall you remain. He took his right. Leave her and walk with her time. We shall wait. Huh? Yes, father. So I ever want anything good wait. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, my lovely sister. Thank you. Okay. Can I go and prepare me now? <laughs> okay. I'm hungry. <laughs> Yes, mommy. Okay. <laughs> those things, huh? So what is the uh, <laughs> Yes, I heard you telling the king that Osanga was kidnapped. Yes, you are right, my princess. The Bawan Tapa said he saw some men taking him away from the bush. Liar! Sorry for your stupid self. You people planned this. Anything to take him away. You have started a war and I will fight to finish. Nothing happens between Nande and I until he is freed. I made him do whatever he did and there's nothing going on between both of us. Now he's made to suffer for what he knows nothing about. I'm sorry, my princess. I swear, we do not know anything about his kidnapping. Oh, please, tell that to the birds. You people will know who I am if you don't produce him and he confirmed to me that he's okay. Now leave my sight. Get out! Sarah Mosen, Maka, 
What did you say, Uruka? Father will not be participating in any marriage or whatever ceremony until the Sangha is found and brought back here. If you know where you are hiding him, bring him back. The poor boy will not be made to suffer for what he does not know. So after these years you have been with me, you still don't know who your father is and what I can do. You say think that I, Ibu Agedimbo, Yusisi Kampun Kembono Mweke, will condescend to the level of kidnapping a mere fisher boy. Where is he then, father? Where is he? He's been punished because he was with me. We spent time together. We did not go well with all of you. Listen, father. If you don't produce him and he confirmed to me that he's okay, I will not be engaged in anything. Excuse me, father. My queen, this is not a good story at all. This is not a good story. How did this happen? No one knew. This is not our dream at all. At all? At all? There is a report that Osanga, the fisherman, was kidnapped. <laughs> now the princess is accusing the father and my son of being behind the kidnap and that she is not going to be engaged in any marriage or coronation rites hey. unless the young man is found. Jay! Why is this thing happening now? Why? Eh? Jay! Mother, can I go now to attend to the issues I told you about? Your presence here contributes nothing. You can go to your familiar terrain. My queen, are you saying she's not even pet up by this uh, disturbing situation? It's you, Amenka. Forget about my daughter, Ife Inwa. All she's interested now is how to make her new clothes. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Hey! Can you hear that boy? This is unbelievable. It's unacceptable to say the least. I mean, how can she accuse me of doing something? Nande. I want to ask you a very important question. And I want you to tell me nothing but the truth. All right. Go ahead. Do you, by any means, have a hand in Osanga's disappearance? My father and king, I swear with my life that I know nothing about the disappearance of that young man. I can never indulge myself in such act. I mean, why would I? All right. I have no doubt in my mind that you have told me the truth. But who did it and why is what I don't know. And to make matters worse, my daughter has refused to hear anything unless the young man is brought back and confirmed all right. That is the cross of the matter. I will go now and report the case to the police. Your Highness, I'm assuring you that I will do whatever it takes to find the young man. I will be back. Good luck, son. Epedike. Epedike. Thank 
there is total confusion now. She is accusing the king and my brother of being responsible for Osanga's disappearance. <laughs> so now we are safe and our plans are intact. Beautiful. Anything to scuttle the marriage is my ultimate desire. Mom, my princess, mm -hmm. this is beautiful. Yes. Very, very beautiful. Yes. I think I like it. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, we have to sit and watch how things turn out to be. Then we'll now know the next plan. Okay? Exactly. Yes. Um, I'll see you later. Okay. All right. Has set up the table. Equidike. As you can see, I am not hungry. This situation has seized my appetite. This is not the joyous era of my life I envisaged. But, Your Highness, you refusing to eat your food. I don't think it will help the situation. Rather, it will worsen it. Go and check my daughter. See if she is outside or she is still in her room. This is what is of utmost importance to me now. Go. Yes, Your Highness. I'll be your food for the next two days. So you better eat and spare. Because there shall be nothing for you until after two days. Why is that girl using your head? This is not the way forward. You're a young man. A prosperous one at that. What are you doing? Evil is evil. I will never do evil. I cannot betray nor harm Princess Uruka.
Seganaz has been dispatched to the old southeast. Good to know. My love, I want to assure you that neither I nor the king knew what happened to him. I swear with my life. Once I see him and he's okay, I will believe. Oh, would you... Would you want me to buy anything for you? Nothing. Nothing? All right, I will be with the king. I have a simple advice. You people should stop dreaming of bringing that girl here. She must have kidnapped the young man and hid him and then now gave her condition, knowing that he can never be found. Mother, that girl did not love my brother and we will not marry him. She has an American boyfriend. She's just looking for, for a way to, to, to get out and be with him. If you want, get out of my presence. Get out! Because I said the truth? Okay then. Wait and see, mother. Your Highness, there's no success yet, but I assure you, we'll continue the search until we find him. Very well then. Be rest assured that whatever assistance you need from me or the royal household, as far as this case is concerned, I will give them to you. Yeah, there is no problem, Your Highness. We have seen for more men. Like my colleague has said, we must find him. Officers, I thank you very much for the concern you have shown in this case. I will ever remain indebted to you. Thank you, thank you Your Highness. Thank you, Your Highness. We will be leaving. Thank you. Thank you. Sanga disappear from this community without any trace. Eh? 
Nothing will convince me that the king and prince of the Simba does not know what I'm doing. It is real Roman run the quarter that the princess must have taken interest in him. And in order to take him off the way, he must have been killed or sent to a distant land. And they are pretending they are looking for My him. sister, do you know the news coming from the palace? Is that Princess Iruka said she will never marry Prince Inanji until she sees Osanga. And I support her 100% too. Though I was afraid initially, but if she likes him and wants to marry him, then she will allow her to marry him now. After spending money and training her in America, she will end up with a local fisherman. What do you want me to say, Kwan? Hmm. Hmm. My dear, that is a tall dream that will never materialize. Yes. What do we do, son? Nothing but wait. For how long? Till the young man is found. The police assured us that they will find him. Huh. We must have to wait more. Nobody can hang the fate of Isimba in the balance. Our elders and our people cannot allow that. Mother, at the moment, there is nothing we can do. She is the one I want. And I must wait. Not as long as you think you would. Mother, how? Your sister, though strange in her behavior and irrational in her utterances, said something that kept me wondering if there is truth in it. What did she say, mother? That Princess Uruka can be actually behind the guy's disappearance and did it so that she can escape and marry her American boyfriend. Son, that Ureka never really loved you. Please, my princess, don't need to do this. Please. Don't you dare block me. Majesty, don't you dare me. block me. Please. If you don't leave now, we'll blow your prince off. Get out. My princess, leave now. I said, get out. Look at me. What are you doing? Drop that gun this moment. Father, I am going in search of him. The police are already doing that. Besides, you have no right to bear arms. Fire drop that gun now! Nobody can stop me! I'm ready to fire at anybody! I said drop that gun now! what the problem is and she started saying all sorts of strange things. Miriako, are you sure of what you are saying? Yes, I am very, very sure.
Yes. You have to send boys to go to Umeke to look for him. But let them know that they should put their ears on the ground to know if he's in the community. If he is, that means he has exposed me. And I have to flee. But if not, that means we have to look for him and cut him down immediately. In that case, let me dispatch boys immediately. What have I gotten myself into? What? How did I find myself into this situation? I should have used the other strategy. That is what I should have done. That is what I should have done. Hey, what do I do now? I'm glad that you didn't take the offer to poison me through the fish. I'm equally glad that you stood your ground. I'll give you double the offer she made to you. The rest will be handled by the police and court after your statement. Meanwhile, you need to leave this village at once. Once they discover that you have escaped, they will come for the kill. Where then do I go? I will get you some money to lodge in a local hotel. The next village. Nobody will ever know that you are there. I'll be right back. Like I said, this is exactly what I'm going to do. I am proceeding to Umeke right away. We cannot continue to do this tumbom tumbom with them. Ah, uh -uh. it is either this this is working out or we work it out. That is just the thing. Ah, uh -uh. what is all this? Chief Omeka. You have not said anything since you returned, Uruka. Father, I will speak when the time is right. Chorokam na cho, a 
This one, the house is empty. And that means he's not yet back. Who knows where he will be and in what condition? Yes. I think the only way to find out right now is to go to the home of Omisi Denta. Okay. The head of the hunters. Maybe we should go there. Because I heard that they've been running around the entire village with some policemen since yesterday. Okay. Yes. Now yeah, let's go. Listen, no matter what, don't tell anybody that I'm here. I repeat, no matter what, don't tell anybody I'm here. Except the Princess of Womek. Okay, sir. I still do not make head or tell of what you are saying. So how do you mean? Father, with all due respect, I'm sure of what I just told you. Do well to confront them. And if there is a denial, I will then prove it. If I fail, Father, feel free to do whatever you wish to me. Where are you going? Mother, I have the information of where the American boyfriend of Uruka hides to meet with her. I want to go and capture them with my hidden camera. Maybe you people will begin to believe me. If you, you can do anything and get away with it. But marrying the name and the relationship we have with the royal family of Umeke will be costly. Because. I will never believe whatever thing you say, knowing how you hate Princess Uruka. Mother, she is up to a lot of games. She wants to derail the marriage and every other thing. Mother, if I fail to prove this to you, do with me whatever you wish. There you are. Mother, I'm so very sure she's up to something. Don't worry. Forget her. I know how to handle her. I can deal with her. Killing continued to show you what I was before. Uruka, 
I can take anything from you. But accusing my respected family of being responsible for the disappearance of a peasant is the very height of disrespect and utter abuse to whatever we hold there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Nandi, am I the one you're raising your voice at and talking to in this manner? Yes! Yes! I have pretended all along to be calm. And I have played to the script to make this work. But you have pushed me to the wall. And you have shown me exactly who you are. Now I can see. Go back home and ask your sister her role in the disappearance of Osanga and ask her where she's hiding him. If she fails, I'll bring in the police. And Osanga will be fetched this time around. It will be his words against hers. I see. Oh, I see. If he was right after all, maybe there is someone somewhere and you are looking for all kinds of excuses to derail this <laughs> there is a mind my late father trained you for me it was agreed and sealed no one i repeat no one can have you but me so this is what this is all about Nandi, we shall see! We shall see! Rubbish! Rubbish! My princess, yes. there is no need for that. Okay. If you hire a guy to play the role of the boyfriend, American boyfriend, mm. definitely mm. it will clash. It will clash. But there is something I am. I saw that man trust you. What is that? Let's give it a try. Your Highness, I tried everything I could to stop him, but out of anger, he nearly hit me with his car. Equedike, it is all right. Fetch my daughter for me, and do so very fast. All right, my king. this mother i think uruka is playing games with us she accused us of knowing the whereabouts of her sangha. can you imagine how she regards us mother and when i confronted her she remained adamant and stood her ground i am highly exasperated and will never take it easy with her never again mother we had a deal agreed and sealed by the two families I waited years for her to be back, and now it has been stories upon stories. Mother, I can never be deceived into believing any of our wood games. And I will show her that I am a product of a great lion. I will. Inasmuch as 
we respect the traditional institution so much, we will not hesitate to prosecute you if your accusation turns out to be false. Officer, I am 100% sure of what I am saying and I'll prove it to you when the time is right. Very well then, provide Osanga to come and testify since he is the sole witness to this case. If that's what it takes, officer, take it from me. I will provide him to testify. Failure to do so, feel free to persecute me. The person responsible for Sanga's disappearance is from Isimba's royal home. I don't know how many persons or who the collaborators are, but I'm very sure of my accusations. Very well then, sir. Igwe, I beg to take my leave. Officer, thank you very much. Investigation continue, Your Sorry. Highness. Sorry. All fingers are pointing at you. What do you know about this case before police arrives here and it becomes a scandal? I knew nothing. Nothing and absolutely nothing. Mm. What if it turns out to be otherwise? What happens? Mother, if she can prove it, then let her do so. But if not, you people will at least for once believe me and know the kind of woman you want to bring into this house as a wife. Prince, you heard her. This is it. Go and deliver my message to your people in the manner I narrated it to you. No more, no less. Igwe Igadi. You must surely live long, Igwe. You too. Ah, that's a real blessing. <laughs> well, I want to assure you that um, the message sent through the smoke must surely get to the skies. It is well with you. <laughs> it's your make. I always trust you with the promise. <laughs> Thank you, Igwe. <laughs> you will go in peace. Sir. Thank you, Igwe. <laughs> You're all that I have. And you have been a great father to me. 
The truth is that Princess Ifi, Namdi's sister, is behind Osanga's kidnap. Yes. She's doing everything possible to make sure that I do not marry into that family. For reasons best known to her. She made Osanga an offer to poison me through his fish. What? Yes, father. And when that failed, knowing that her secret will be opened, she kidnapped him. Who told you all this? And where is Osanga being held? Osanga, by the intervention of a strange being he cannot articulate, escaped and I ran into him in the bush. Remember the day I was dressed in a combat with a gun? Yes. I gave him money to lodge in a local hotel in the neighboring village and asked him not to come out. So that is it. Now that I've told you everything, can you now see that I'm sure? Anyway, we shall trash all this out before the police and the rest of his people tomorrow. Once we deal with this and conclude, then we shall know what happens next. You shall go tomorrow and bring Osanga so that he will not be seen. We will hide him here so that when she starts denying, we will bring him out to say what happened. And if possible, he will swear an oath on it. That's all. So. Thanks, Father. I will do that. All right. I have no problem, Mother. I will go because I have nothing to hide. And what's a few if I want? If you have anything to say, say it now. Your Highness, you told us at the palace that your daughter is coming with Osanga to testify against Ife Yunwa. But we have been here since morning. We did not see Osanga and we did not see your daughter. Our king cannot tell lies. And I'm the Ojofo of this kingdom. No one steps into this compound and tell lies. Never. Mother, that girl, she's a liar and a two-faced woman being. She ran away because her deceit failed her. I am accused wrongly and now vindicated. Mother, please, hurry up and get another wife for my brother and crown him the king. Ife Yuma, you are before the king and the Ujofo of Umweke Kingdom. Please, mind your language. I am sorry, but all I said is nothing but the truth. Where is he now? Presenting you. The one we are waiting for. Eh? Wanted to bring Osanga to come and testify against Ife Yungwa. So where is he? Ify, I sincerely apologize for doubting you in the first place. Now I know who she really is. This is one thing I am finding hard to believe. Princess Uruka is a shining example and has never... Mother, I can never marry a liar or someone filled with deceit. I want all the money my late father spent on her return. 
If not, there will be war. Yes, there will be war. There will be war. Yes. Believe me, Father, I did not lie. The only person capable of finding out where Osanga is hiding and possibly taking him away is that Princess Ifi. A desperate criminal will go to any length to cover up a crime. But I know what I'm saying. My daughter, I don't have anything to say for now. All I think now is how to do all the damage control. In the trunk of the car. Open it, let me kick his balls. I do not know what I'm capable of doing. <laughs> Idiot. Open. Open. Where is he? Mother, as I speak now, she is being quizzed by the police. She will not only pay for the formation, but all the money used in training her. No single part of that money will go unrefunded. Even if the greatest debut of all time had predicted this, I, for an other conamba, wouldn't have believed. Mother. <sighs> It is now a fight for our right, yes. not more. Your Highness, my superior commanded that it's either she provides her sangha or I come with her to the station. Your Highness, aside the case of character assassination. There is also breach of agreement and refund of money running into thousands of dollars against her. Officer, she will come to the station with you on one condition. And that is that one of my elders and another elder from me, Simba, must be here to witness this. Very well, Your Highness. Call them quickly.
I'm not sure he's in this bush. He wouldn't have gone far. See, the heat from that boot would have reduced his energy drastically. My princess, this is making second time. This boy is escaping from us in a mysterious condition. Sometimes I wonder if he's a human being. Please, can we just leave this talk and continue the search? If we get him this time around, we must send him into eternity. Because failure to do so will send us into dungeon. Your Highness, as you can see, your elders are not forthcoming. I have no any other option than to arrest her. Hidden, Asanga is back. He's outside the palace. I'm sorry, I, I, I am the one that did it. I, I, I will confess everything. I, I will confess. Move forward! I, I will confess everything. I, I'm the one that did everything. Please. I, I will confess everything and bring my accomplices. Please. Move! Move forward! Very sweet. Mm. My princess, I thought you should be rested now that the ordeal is over and the culprit is in jail. I'm glad being around you to do the things I love doing. Mm. Not worry about those people. Careful, careful. My princess, I plead you forgive Prince Namde. He acted out of frustration. As for his sister, she deserves where she is. No one even supported her. I'll forgive Prince Namde, no doubt. But like I said before, for now, I just want to be around you and do the things that ordinary people do like Smoking this fish, baiting in the river, watching you fish, and even going to the farm. <laughs> I used to think that once someone is rich, his or her problems are gone. But your, your case is different. You are rich, exposed, educated, yet you enjoy the lifestyle of a commoner. You see, a poor boy in the farm would see an airplane flying past and would say, I wish I could be in there and I would have had the best of life. A rich boy in an aircraft would look down on the poor boy in the farm and say, I wish I'm this free to play with the butterflies and chase the birds. Happiness is not gotten from the amount of wealth 
available to one. One is happy only when one cherishes the beautiful things around him or her. Nature to me is great. Artificial remains artificial. I've tested the boat and I choose the later. Mm. You are right, my princess. Because I am a proud fisherman and I enjoy what I do for a living. And I know someday I will get married and raise my family as a proud fisherman. And I will always be proud to say that Princess Uruka is my friend. And I will also stand wherever others stand and be accepted and respected as well. That is the spirit. <laughs> Status to me does not define the character does. And who says that a fisherman cannot rise to be king or even a governor? Mm -hmm. Once one has integrity, dignity, and passion to live and do what is right, destiny must surely drive the person to his or her God's designated goal in life. My princess, I must confess, you are so inspiring. You made my day. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. So let's continue. I hope you're going to the river after now. Of course, of course. Okay, let me, my turn to give you fish. <laughs> my turn. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> my princess. My pr <laughs> well, I have heard what you people said. To me, the relationship I had with your late father means everything to me. And that is why I kept it alive even after his death. However, the rest lies with my daughter. If she agrees to forgive him and go on, I have no objection to that at all. But if not, I am afraid there's little or nothing I can do about it at this moment because a lot of water has gone under the bridge. Igwe, I am very positive it will work. Namdi has not been himself since he realized the truth. He has even made the sister to pay for her crimes. So I'm positive it will work. Like I said before, everything lies with my daughter. You should discuss with her so that this matter will be solved once and for all. Uh, thank you so much, Your Highness. Uh, I appreciate it. It's all right, my son. <laughs> My queen, that was how it went. I left him there waiting for her. And it was, she was said to have visited the same Osanga. Ichio Menka, let him wait. I will also call him not to come back without seeing her. What binds us with that royal family is greater than whatever is planning to tear us apart. Once he comes back, I will also proceed to see the king myself. Ah, that would be nice, my queen. Very nice. 
If you want me to roll on the ground, I will. Please forgive me. Do not judge me by whatever I did out of frustration and circumstances I found myself. Please. It's okay. Rise, please. Rise. Please sit. I have forgiven you. And I'm ready for us to continue from where we stopped. So long as I'll not be scolded or stopped from being around Osanga. Or going to dance or visit places of interest with him. My love, you have an express card to do that. In fact, I will go to his house now and give him some money. Yes. So that you can have as much fun as you wish. <laughs> Very well then. <laughs> In that case, you can go and discuss the rest with my father. Wait. Wait. Did that actually come from you? Straight up. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Together again, myself and the princess. Yeah. You see, uh, she said she wants you around her so that you can make her happy. I don't mind. Believe me, I don't mind. I have come to know how much you want so that I can go cash it and bring it to you. My prince, with all due respect, whatever that concerns the princess is not what I can trade for any amount. Oh, uh, uh, I understand. Believe me, I do. But I need to give you something so that she can be happy around you. So tell me, how much do you want? 200,000, 300,000, or even half a million? I can make it available. That won't be necessary, my prince. You can go ahead and marry the princess. Just treat her like a queen that she is and always allow her to enjoy the natural things she loves. As for me, I'm a fisherman, fine and good, but I am contented with what I have. My father told me that money does not directly translate to happiness. I am a happy fisherman and I am contented with what I have. In that case, consider it done. Thank you, Father. <laughs> the emoji, though very small, is the most important of all the ceremonies. On that day, young men carrying bowls of kola nut will line up, pretending to be seeking for your hand in marriage. And whosoever you pick his kola and present to us automatically becomes your husband because it is his kola we are going to pray with and chill. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, Father, I like that. In fact, I like that part of our culture. It's all right. <laughs> As for your request to allow Osanga and his Ogene group perform on that day is granted. Oh, Father, you are the best. <laughs> you are also the <laughs> Thank best. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. It's all right. If I don't do it for you, who else will I do it for? <laughs> My son, I am so glad. At least, the last wish of my husband, your father, 
Ah, mother, I'm so excited. Yes, sir. It is done. Father will be so proud, and the coronation plans will begin in earnest. <laughs> Baby girl. Yes, my brother. I'm so, so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> Like I said before, everything is arranged. The pan wine will be delivered fresh, as well as the cola nut that is fit for the royal emoji. Mm -hmm. I know what you want now. I know what you go for. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the way we will present ourselves in the morning, we tell the people of Umeke what will happen during the uh, uh, grand royal wedding. The most reliable. You can say that again. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, um, let me retire to my house. All right. All right. Uh, as early as possible, I will be with other elders for the movement to make. Um, Ichi Omenka, my prince. I thank you so much. Thank you, my prince. I really appreciate your effort in all of this. You are welcome, my prince. The queen, mm. thank you very much. Anosanga, Fergus Fawunda has to come to wine mad with the little man. Just saw my sister. Not only that, so she has been sharing money to all the poor people in this village. Huh. Chai. I never know that a princess that came back from Obudu will be able to do all this. My sister, you've seen it. Oh, me, I'm very happy. Oh. I think she's a good princess. Wow. Yeah. Hey. Hey. My sister, I heard you came for holiday. When are you going back? Oh, beyond the day is over. Yeah, your own is better now. No, I love my grandma so much, yeah. so I won't be able to leave her. Huh. I'm happy for you. You that will travel and come and see your grandmother. We don't forget any other. It's the last thing, my dear. Is yeah.
So my friend Uruka will get married tomorrow. I learned a lot from you. You are a great woman with a golden heart. You love nature and you always fight for the downtrodden. I wish you the best of luck, my friend. Goodbye. Uruka. Goodbye. My daughter, our guests are arriving. Our in-laws are already seated. More and more invited guests are still arriving. Now tell me, what are you doing here? You came at the right time. Father, I have collected cola. I have collected cola from my love. The one that I want to become my husband. Father, not that I hate Nnamdi. Especially after his apologies and jailing of his sister. But I cannot live his kind of life. Life of a royal queen. I want to live a simple life of a fruit woman. I want to work in the farms. I want to be relating with the poor and happy people. I want to go fishing with my husband. I've saved enough money while studying and working in America. If you desire your pay, so be it. I want to be queen, but local native queen. Chemo 